you've ever driven cross country, or well, even across state lines, you know speed limits are a fickle, often changing thing. First you're going 70, then it's down to 55, and back up to as fast as 85 miles per hour, depending on where you are. So the editors at cars.com wanted to know, which states are made for speed, and which ones are slow to the line. You know how they say everything's bigger in Texas. Well, that apparently is true here because in the Lone Star State, uh, there's 85 mile an hour posted speed limits along a stretch of Highway 130. It's 91 miles between San Antonio and Austin. And at that speed limit, it would only take you a little bit more than an hour to get from one place to another. Idaho joins Texas on the speediest list with limits of 80 miles per hour on several stretches of highway. But it wasn't without controversy. The speed hike was initially put on hold at the urging of AAA of Idaho. Safety studies were done before the signs were finally put up in late July. But how does speed affect the safety factor? Cars.com Consumer Affairs editor Kelsey May says it depends who you ask. It's a debated issue. Uh, some advocates on one side say that it's actually speed differential, not absolute speed, that contributes to more or fewer accidents. Uh, but safety advocates actually say that the absolute speed does play into it a lot because it's the amount of reaction time that drivers have to kind of react to things happening around them that determines how many accidents they might get into, as well as the amount of crash forces that the car has to withstand because it's hitting something at a faster speed. On the other end of the speed spectrum, several states in the Northeast, including New York, Rhode Island, and Vermont, but May says that shouldn't surprise you. There's a big urban section, particularly between the Washington, D.C. to Boston corridor. Cities tend to have lower speed limits, and so that uh, made a lot of sense to us. Washington, D.C. fits that thinking, as it is also one of the slowest at 55 miles per hour. But what do these speeds mean when it comes to traffic? May says that's unclear. A lot of traffic engineers follow what's called the 85th percentile rule, where they set a speed limit that normally 85% uh, of the cars are driving at or below. Some states, like Georgia, Washington, and uh, Missouri, have actually instituted variable speed limits that manage traffic flow based on conditions, and all of that suggests that it's not necessarily the actual speed of the cars, but the rate of cars that are going through one area at one point in time that affects traffic congestion the most.